we've arrived. Here we are, we're in the hotel. It's uh, it's massive, like really impressed. Um, the room's not massive. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it is a good Tom Thumb. Do you want to see? So uh, if I take you around. So we go outside, so this is the hallway. So we're staying at the Block Hotel and you come in, we're uh, room 884. Uh, Ian's for you is too cold, so he turned the aircon up. And now it's like a sauna. It's a bit delayed. So here's the bed, here's Ian. Um, and then you kind of poo and shower at the same time. So here's the shower. Um, and there's a toilet and the sink. So it is the smallest room ever, but we are literally here for like 14 hours. So uh, not very long at all. And we've got a view of outside, of stuff. Well, there's the tram that'll take you to the other terminal. Oh, I've seen videos of that. Um, and the TV, of course, and towels and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and there's this funky device, which... It's your socks. Um, and my socks, I've got a bad foot, which you'll probably see lots of. Um, but there's a little tablet thing, which controls stuff. So we're off to go get some food. Um, I think we're going to go Weatherspoons, because draft's about to close. It's about 8.35, so... Uh, yeah, let's go find some food. Yeah. What are you going for? We're going. Going to the top, number eight. It smells really rank in here. I think there's toilets downstairs on the ground floor. Careful, careful. I like the uh, fisherman film I know we did last summer. Climbing, yeah. I know what you did last summer. Hello and welcome to our first blog. Hello. Uh, we're going to take you to Orlando. We're flying mm. in the morning. Um, we're currently at Gatwick. This is our first ever time blogging. We've done um, family videos before but we've never done anything where we filmed the whole trip. So we're looking forward to taking you with us. We've gone and had our weather spoons, uh, which was pretty standard, but it was all right. Uh, yours was probably better than mine, I think. Oh, lasagna and chips. Very uh, nice salad. Wasn't expecting the salad. So that was a bonus. <laughs> probably the last salad I'm going to have for the next two weeks. Um, and, and then we decided we might get hungry, even though we're here for 12 hours in this room. So we raided Marks and Spencers like it, it was the end of the world. So we're going to get some sleep and um, yeah, thanks Come for watching our What did you do with it at the end? <laughs> Ian! Ian! Wake up! Wake up! Right. It's time to get up! We're going to Florida! What? I'm going now! So we're in the British Airways Lounge. I'm on my second drink. It's 9.25 in the morning, but it's a free bar. This is what it looks like. So there it is. You've got gins, you've got tequilas, you've got vodkas, you've got whiskies, you've got all that other stuff. And it's got, and it's got spout pouring, which makes it easier to get what you want. Look at the size of that marmite. It's huge.
Gate 27. Gate 27. Gate 27. We're on the bridge. We're on the bridge. Ooh. Captain on the bridge. I'm going to get a view. There it is. Where are you, David? In my pool. So that's our little cubby hole for the next 10 hours. It's quite snug, but it'd be really odd if you weren't flying with someone you knew. <laughs> so you can get quite intimate in a roll. That's my bag. Um, right, uh, I'm just going to do a bit of a tidy up and then I'll be back. First of many. We made it. I'm really already. It is quite cool. during my anti back front. because he's moved them. So it's afternoon tea time on the plane. David's got a special meal, which looks like this. I think that's a salmon sandwich and a fruit plate. Whereas I, the second fruit plate, because you've got one for his starter, which is a Thanks, 
smells so much of farts. The last thing we want is a fishy sandwich. We've arrived. We made it. Nine hours later, we're in Orlando, uh, where we've uh, goofy. Thank you. Uh, we need to go and pick up a car. We need to go get a car. We need to get a car. And put the aircon on. And put the aircon on. And then um, we've got to drive to our resort, and we'll show you the resort when we get there. See you later. See you in a bit. So we did the Alamo pre-check, which I don't think that's as <laughs> part of the option. So we did the uh, Alamo pre-check, which meant we didn't even have to go to the booth in the airport, or we didn't have to go to the counter. So we literally walk out of the airport, choose the car you want from the uh, range of SUVs, and then off you go. There's quite a large choice. David's gonna be picking what we want. So we're on our way to Colorado Springs. Um, Ian is driving and concentrating, so he's not gonna talk. He might, uh, talk. He might talk, he talks a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking at this, it's all rainy. Um, so yeah, we're driving to Colorado Springs. There's quite a few rain clouds, which is quite typical. It's like middle of the afternoon, so um, it's pretty standard for rain this time of day. Um, we're going to go to Coronado Springs. We've actually got some fast passes for this evening. Um, we need to sort out our annual passes as well. So we're going to go over to Epcot. Um, hopefully I, I need a shower. Oh my gosh, that plane was uh, stinky. Oh my god, it was such a smelly plane. It was a smelly plane. Um, woo! So um, we're going to go Epcot. And, but we'll be at Coronado Springs in about 20 minutes. Um, and hopefully the afternoon rain will disappear. Um, we'll see you soon. Well, that's not going to disappear, look at it. Well, it might, it might blow away. <laughs> Here we go. No, it's a bit early. <laughs> 20, 19, 18. On a rainy... Tuesday. Well, Tuesday, it's Tuesday. On a rainy Tuesday, we have arrived in three, Two, two, one, one. Woo! we walked in the world. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, cross verge. <laughs> well, we it's, it's we like, literally nearly died. We literally we, did not we, die like either. on our way to Disney. We, oh my god, says so the man that fell down some stairs two days before his trip. Wow. Well. We have a crazy driver. Swan and Delphin. I thought we just passed that. We did, we're going back round. Coronado Springs. Whoop, whoop. That's right. Coronado Springs. That is a bit old tower, isn't it? Can I go right on red, do you think? Yeah. Stop. Registration check in. Seven. Five three oh seven. Five three oh seven. Yeah. Seems pretty quiet. All right. Are we ready? Mm, get me some air conditioning. So here's our room. Before, uh, before Ian and myself. This is the tidiest it's going to be. Actually. Yeah, I was trying to look for a polite way of saying that. So we got some uh, a welcome from the general manager. We've got the obligatory free pins because uh -huh. Colorado Springs is going for a 
uh, there's new they've got a new convention center a new main building a new uh, signature restaurant so there's three cabaneros pins so sorry for the pixie dust oh the aircon is lovely the aircon is nice oh it's a really nice room it's huge and a massive wardrobe I mean, so I've, seen, the, I've seen it on vlogs. I was going to say, I think like this room's been on YouTube so much recently, but this is our room for the next seven nights. There's uh, us looking pretty exhausted, I oh, think. It's tasty. Oh. Freebies. Freebies? I love a freebie. Oh my gosh. And then, uh, pocket door yeah. in the bathroom. Yeah, it's just the bathroom. It's a bathroom. Yeah, it's the bathroom. So, our plan is to... Well, I'm going to get the other case in. Um, I'm going to freshen up and then we're going to go to Epcot, sort out Android passes, have something to eat, and we've got some um, fast passes booked. And we've done good time. It's only half past five. The plane landed just after three. We were third or fourth people through immigration. Picked yeah. up the car quite quickly, got here quite quickly. Registration was very quick. We've driven around to Casitas Five, which is where we are at Coronado Springs. So uh, we're kind of ahead of, ahead of time. Um, so first fast pass is at 7.25. So we've got two hours to freshen up and then get to Epcot, which isn't far from here. So awesome. that's the plan. Let's have an evening. Well, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go get, <laughs> I'm gonna go get the other case and then stop stuttering. We are arriving at Epcot. Going to the Satnag. Epcot. Here we go. Ah, it's so exciting. I'm going to enjoy oh my it. gosh, I can see, I can see Spaceship Earth. Epcot. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. So we are at Epcot. Just to prove it, over there somewhere, <laughs> the Spaceship Earth is not the best place to do a. Uh, uh, reveal that we've just got our fast passes. No, we haven't. We've got our annual, our annual, annual pass, passes. Annual passes. And because David's got this Mick the Stick, uh, Brad from Centerville, Utah, from Guest Services, who is amazing, has got David a disability pass as well. So that's going to be really handy. And that means David's going to save his leg. Uh, so we're going in and we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, there's a Mrs. Potts. Oh, the princess's version. David is the biggest fan of Beauty and the Beast, so I think we've probably got many of these things. And once we put on a time book. There's one there, oh, yeah, yeah. that's the only one you have. Yeah. Feel your trinkets. Little rose. Oh, Mickey. My saucer and Mickey, that's cool. And a tink. $4.99. So we just got to test track and there's a massive fast pass line. Pretty huge. So I think it must have gone down earlier and they're yeah, we're not going to do test tracks now. So we're going to wander over to Frozen because we have a disability pass which will get us through and then a bit of dinner. So wandering around food to Norway.
we just rode Frozen Ever After. Uh, what did you think? I thought it was really good. I really, I really enjoyed liked it. it. The animatronics. Yeah, they're really clever. The, they're really good. The yeah. way the, the faces are done, it's quite unnerving. Yeah. Looks like they're made of felt, the clothes. Really yeah. Really realistic. It was a nice surprise, because we didn't expect to ride that today. So. No, uh, that was an extra ride that we were expecting. Uh, yeah, I really liked it. I'd definitely do it again. Yeah, uh, it's sweet. It's really sweet. It's really right. clever. So we're going to go and find some food, I think. Yeah, so we'll uh, catch up with you later. Okay, so we've uh, we've ended up in Denny's. <laughs> Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. And and that won't be enough. The Cali club sandwich. Yeah, I'm doing no club sandwich. It's um, going to be good. And I'm probably going to have some of your chips because I can't be bothered to turn off chips and soup. Unless there's no soup, in which case I will have chips. And cool. Uh, hello, we're back in the room. <laughs> we're a bit tired. We're, we're quite tired. Um, it's 20 past 11. Obviously, that's some obscene amount of hours we've been awake. So, last time we saw us, we were at Frozen. Um, we might have been at Denny's, actually. Or we might have been at Denny's. We were trying to get some food after we had the uh, ticket for Frozen. But we hadn't realised what time it was, so most places, well, we went to the land and the land was closed for food. So then we got back in the car and then thought, oh, we'll get something on the way home and ended up at Denny's. But it was really slow service. But yes, it's 20 past 11, which means it's 20 past four in the morning, which means we've been up for 22 hours. Yeah, so, so we're going to bed. <laughs> quite tired. So um, we'll see you tomorrow where we've got Animal Kingdom and extra magic hours in the evening at magic kim no magic kingdom yeah yeah yeah, yeah. cool see you tomorrow Bye. Bye.